Jurassic Park Dominion is directed by Colin Trevorrow and has Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard back along with the original cast of Jurassic Park, Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and Laura Dern. This film's plot is about Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard trying to raise a clone baby in the woods when she gets taken so they have to Liam Neeson her back home. Meanwhile, a secret lab that BD Wong works at is genetically modifying locusts so that they can target specific seeds to create a corporate monopoly over all food supply. So Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and Laura Dern must find a way to stop them. And there's dinosaurs all over the world. I'm Jacob, and I just saw this shit. I had expected this movie to be a wet fart since I saw the first trailer, but at the very least I thought it would be entertaining. When you think about a movie where dinosaurs are all over the world, your mind can think of so many things. A pterodactyl landing on the Statue of Liberty, or the Leaning Tower getting knocked over, or something. Things that are schlocky but fun. This movie swerves that and instead does nothing with it. I'm also just going to give away almost everything that happens in this movie. I don't recommend that you see this movie, it sucks. This movie begins with a documentary news segment kind of thing to deliver a ton of exposition and when this is complete you would expect that the exposition would just be done. But no, what felt like the first half hour of this film is just exposition setting up where people are and it's done in the most bland, melodramatic ways possible. In the opening, Justice Smith returns as his extremely obnoxious, obnoxious character from the last movie and my theory is that he was just done with these movies after the reception to his character because he sounds like he just showed up for a paycheck. He has no enthusiasm whatsoever for his five minutes of exposition. In the character introductions, we obviously have to catch up with Chris Pratt, and in this, they show that he has truly honed his dino training capabilities. So now it doesn't matter what kind of dinosaur or any sort of attachment, like him raising it. No, now any dinosaur that he encounters, he can tame it simply by putting his hand out. He does this multiple times and it for some reason works. I do think Samuel L. Jackson's character tried to do something like that to stop them in the first movie. Oh, Mr. Arnold. After that, we're reintroduced to the clone baby and Bryce Dallas Howard as female lead. The three of them are a family now and clone baby is now in her edgy teen years. They have a fight that sums up to you're not my dad and she gets kidnapped and some by some guy working for the dude that brought Wayne Knight the can of Barbasol in the first movie. Hey remember Dodgson? Remember the guy that brought the can in the first movie? He runs a major company now that's making super locusts. Oh, and remember the can of Barbasol? That comes back too. Honestly, the best part about this movie for me was the 12 year old in the theater that let out an audible gasp when the Barbasol can appeared on screen. <laughs> and honestly, that's this movie. There's little to no original thoughts in it. They redo scenes from the first film, like the scene when they're riding in the helicopter to the island and Hammond says they have a T-Rex. This movie recreates that line for line. And this is a perfect example at the level of incompetency that this is this movie. Because think of the context of that scene in the first film and what it is for that, those characters and the audience. That was the first Jurassic Park film and the first time these characters would be encountering a T-Rex. The shock and everything makes sense, but here it's the sixth movie and dinosaurs are all over the world. Who gives a shit if there's a T-Rex? There's raptors running through golf courses and ships sinking from them. It's lines that make, don't make sense for the world at all, but nobody puts thought into it besides, hey, I remember that. The entire middle of this film is people arriving somewhere, getting information, then getting chased before either Chris Pratt wills the dinos away with the hand of power, or they just shock it with a taser so it walks away. All of these sequences feel like hollow recreations of chase sequences and moments we've already seen in film. There's nods to The Shining, nods to Skyfall and others. I think the biggest mistake the series took was having the save the animals approach, which just feels hammy and stupid because there's just following really idiotic characters as they preach how they need to keep the dinosaurs alive, then cut to them screaming for their lives while there's giant monster carnivores trying to eat them. Bigger. Why do they always have to go bigger? Don't go see this unless you have free tickets. 
put your money elsewhere. This is a poor excuse for a blockbuster and a perfect example of the kinds of movies that are putting the craft of film in the coffin. I'm giving Jurassic Park Dominion a 2 out of 10. That is one big pile of shit. So if you subjected yourself to this nonsense this weekend, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.